Well, good morning and welcome to the first Monday of October. It is October 5th today uh, and I hope you had a great weekend. We had a great start to our revival services uh, yesterday and thankful to have uh, Pastor Dave and uh, Jill Smith here. And so good that they are, are with us to, uh, this week. Uh, and I want to encourage you to be back uh, tonight as we continue our revival services. Uh, we got uh, this uh, tremendous uh, service planned and uh, just excited about it. We had great messages yesterday uh, and really spoke to my heart. And uh, I hope you'll be back this evening with an open heart, open mind to the preaching of the Word of God. Special uh, little... little uh, gift, if you will, to all the young people or young at heart uh, that are in attendance uh, tonight. And so looking forward uh, to seeing all of you at the services this evening. Had a great uh, time yesterday with our Roundup Sunday. Had a good uh, group of people, some great chili, some wonderful food. Uh, and uh, if you weren't able to make it and you missed out, guess what? Next year, uh, we'll do it again. And so you can get a, be a part of that chili uh, cook off next year. We're in Psalm 34 today, Psalm 34. So if you are following along in your Bible, be sure and get there. And we'll look at verse number 12 is where we're going to begin. Psalm 34 and verse number 12. Verse number 12 says, What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? And isn't that really... Uh, everybody's desire, you know, we all love life. We all want a, a long life uh, and we want to have plenty of days and, uh, you know, we want to uh, experience life. But how do we uh, experience a long, blessed life? Uh, well, David kind of lays it out here in, in uh, the remaining verses of, of this psalm here. So we're going to look at a few of them. We'll kind of go fairly quickly through them, but if you desire a long life, a blessed life by the Lord, uh, here's uh, here are the keys. And so let's look at it. Verse number 13, key number one, keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Uh, you want to experience a long, blessed, fruitful life, watch what comes out of your mouth uh, and keep thy tongue from evil, thy lips from speaking guile. Guard your speech uh, and uh, make sure that the speech that comes out of your mouth is encouraging to others uh, and uh, comforting to others. Uh, and you'll find uh, that as you encourage, as you comfort others, that man, life, uh, the, the stresses of life, the difficulties of life aren't there because you're focused on other people rather than on, on your needs. And so what man is he that desireth life, loveth many days, that he speak good? Hey, guard your tongue. Look at verse number 14. It says, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Do uh, you want long, fruitful, blessed life? Uh, get the evil, get the sin out of your life and do good. Do that which is right. Uh, and then it says, seek peace and pursue it. Uh, oftentimes we aren't seeking peace. In fact, uh, many times we're very confrontational. Uh, but we need to be a people of peace. So, hey, we desire long life, want to be blessed. Hey, guard our tongue, get rid of the evil, begin doing good, seek peace. And then look at verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, uh, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. And so know this, that the Lord is, is uh, his eyes are upon the righteous, ears are, are want to hear their cry. And so be sure, let's have that fellowship, that quiet time with the Lord. Let's uh, lift our voices up to the Lord in prayer. We can rest assured in the fact and be confident in the fact that God is watching over us. Uh, uh, the, the righteous wants to bless the righteous. He hears our cry. In verse 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart and saveth much as be of a contrite spirit. Many are, are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them 
is broken. And so we see the Lord's hand uh, in every aspect of our life. He hears us when we cry. He's close to us when we have a broken heart. When the relationships on this earth fail us, God will not fail us. And so we come to him with a with a broken heart. It almost speaks to that of revival, this broken heart, and, and allowing God to have free reign in our heart, holding nothing back from the Lord. We're broken in our sin, and we come to the Lord crying out to him. It says in verse 18 once again, uh, And saveth such as be of a contrite heart. And then get this, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Uh, And if you have lived life and experienced life, you know that afflictions come, difficulties come, trials are there. They're staring us in the face. If you're not in a trial, you've probably come out of a trial. You're getting ready to come in, go into a trial. uh, And just know they're going to come. But the afflictions, many are, are the afflictions of the righteous, verse 19, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Uh, and so thankful for a God that is there with us, even during trial. Years ago, my family and I went to uh, a corn maze. Uh, and uh, in this maze, you had to find different items. Uh, and uh, they gave us a list of the items we had to find. And if you found those items, you're on the right track. Uh, and so our goal was to find those items so that we could get out of the corn maze. Uh, and we did. We followed the directions, the guidelines that were given, and we slowly and methodically uh, got through that corn maze. Uh, and that's kind of how life is. You know, we can't see really the end. And so we've got to trust God for our daily steps Trust, trust him each and every day that he's leading, he's guiding, uh, uh, and directing us. And so let's trust him. He can see the end. Uh, we don't know the trial, the difficulty we're going to go through, but God does. And so let's walk with him. Let's follow uh, his leading. Verse number 20, he keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil evil shall slay the wicked and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate and and if you uh if you've read the end of this book you know who wins you know jesus wins you know the evil is conquered in fact sin was conquered uh by jesus uh with his death on the cross his burial and the fact that he didn't stay dead how he is resurrected uh, he was victorious over the grave. He was victorious over sin. Sin doesn't win. Our God always wins. Uh, And evil shall slay the wicked. So don't look at the world and say, man, they've got it so good. Look, they're having so much fun. Man, I wish I could do that. No, there's a price that will be paid. Stay with the Lord's plan. Follow the Lord's leading. Verse 22, the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. (laughs) And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. With Jesus, we've got it all. And we uh, experience life on a whole different level because we know the God of the universe. And you've trusted in Jesus Christ as your, as your personal Savior by grace through faith. And so we don't live the same life the world lives. We're citizens of heaven but we're living on this earth Uh, and we've got to reach the lost and be thankful for the fact that you know christ let's share christ uh, with others we have got it all as christians and so let's live in victory let's live like we've got it all we don't have to live in fear uh, of what's going to happen of the unknown we don't have to live in fear of who who wins this election or not we know god's in control Uh, and with god we can live in great comfort and great peace even in the midst of great difficulty Uh, and so so you go back up to verse number 12 what man is he that desireth life loveth many days that he may see good hey guard your speech uh depart from evil obey the lord live in peace trusting that the Lord is watching over you 
He's guiding you. He's directing you. He wants what's best for your life. In the midst of great difficulty, you trust the Lord for the next step. And then rest assured of the fact we know how everything ends. God is in control. Let's just trust him today. I want to leave you with those thoughts for the day. Thank you for being with me. And I want to encourage you, be in church this evening uh, for the service at uh, 6 o'clock. And it's going to be a great time. Looking forward to it. Uh, And it's just going to be, uh, the Lord will do a work in your heart. Here's the thing. If you're not in, if you're not there, you're not going to hear the message that God has for you. And God's, God's man is here preaching God's word and, uh, and God's got a special message for me and for you. So let's be here so that we can hear the message that God has for us. Have a great day today. Stay warm out there a little chilly this morning and we'll see you, uh, tonight, Lord willing. Have a great day.